Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Madden 20 Top 10 Plays of the Week. Adrian Peterson getting three for the price of one, and that golden ticket AD going all the way. As we move on to play number 14, yes, 14, this is a mega final episode of Madden 20 Top 10 Plays of the Week, and Lamar Jackson usually makes appearances for the right reasons, but this time it's Lamar's fumble that eventually gets the ball into the hands of his Ravens teammate, Marlon Humphrey, but only after the lateral from Big Cam Hayward. As we're going to play number 13, this is Le'Veon Bell. The Battle of New York is going to be claimed by Le'Veon Bell and the New York Jets. So as we go to our first honor mention of the countdown we check out beast mode doing beast mode like things yes this is a mega edition of men 20 top 10 plays of the week it's gonna be the final episode for men in 20 and then we'll do top 10 plays of the year top 100 all that good stuff and then we move on to Madden 21 so now let's get back into the countdown it's play number 12 and this time around we have Jimmy G looking to air this rock out for the San Francisco 49ers but that's gonna be Arnett the rookie on the interception whoop and one whoop doozy of a return the double juke sets him free and once again the Jets doing everything right as we go to play number 11 the onside kick down a bunch of points to start the second half not gonna work out Randy Moss's lateral attempt does not work out but it does not matter because Randy gets sticky and moss is gonna go all the way those guys did not get moss but they got randy moss for sure as we go to play number 10 this is barry sanders knifing his way through the first level and watch this Ooh! collision of 49er teammates the finesse is into the end zone as we go to our second honorable mention of the countdown and while this is going on this is a perfect time to remind you guys that if you guys want to get the best gaming controller possible you definitely want to check out the scuff gaming store the scuff gaming store link will be in the comment section below and as always you can use code cookie boy for a discount what a catch by Devontae adams by the way as we're gonna play number nine bo jackson on the screen over brian duckins and out bo jackson with a way to end the first quarter he'll dance in for a detroit lions touchdown as we're gonna play number eight enemy inbounds and his name is devin hester Right at the end of the game, the Browns have done everything right, except they punted the ball inbounds. Just kick it out of bounds. Don't let Devin Hester have a chance to ruin your day, because Devin Hester will take the return all the way. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's going to play number seven. It's time for this flight to get canceled. The Jets are looking to soar, but it's Lamar Jackson. Whoop! With a series of juke moves, and there goes Lamar. You had to expect Lamar Jackson to show up at least once in this countdown. This won't be the last time Lamar Jackson shows up, including right now. On the honorable mention, Lamar Jackson is so OP that there are so many plays submitted that involve Lamar Jackson that a great run like this can only be relegated to honorable mention because Lamar Jackson is just that powerful in Madden 20. And you gotta expect it's gonna be more of the same, if not even better, in Madden 21 for Lamar. As we go to play number six, RG3 on the option. He's keeping, he's got the first down, and RG3 is getting elusive in the open field. Jones shook out of his shoes. RG3 trying to stretch it, and he will for a Bengals touchdown as we go to play number five it's dame time not damian lillard but damian williams on the return once again punt inbounds late in the going and williams is looking to make the cowboys pay spinning it to the right side blocks and lining williams can he win the foot race one cowboy to beat the block is there dixon whiffs and williams wins the game for the carolina panthers as we go to play number four here comes comes the grave digger like that monster truck the grave digger that's what Bo Jackson's about to be running like on this play through every brown in sight oh the rookie just got rooked and the legend Mijo Green is not deceptible from the left hand of Bo Jackson man 
Oppo. That was vicious as we go to our final honorable mention of the countdown. Michael Vick rolling, looking, doing all he can. Now he lets it fly. That's dangerous, but it's going to be caught by the Raiders after a deflection. Whoop! It's Eric Dickerson getting away from Lot, getting away from Taylor, and somehow, some way, scoring a Raiders touchdown. As we go to play number three, all hail the Raven? Not exactly the Chiefs. We're talking about Lamar Jackson on the final play of the first half. Momentarily in trouble. Now he gets away. Now he's taking off, but this is the final play of the first half. So Lamar's got to score to make this play count. Oh, whoop, and a whoop. Lamar Jackson will do just that. Yeah, um, that's what I'm talking about when I said Lamar Jackson is pretty OP. As we go to play number two, it's time for some hip hop Hester on the opening kick return of the game. Hester goes left side. Whoa, Gronkowski. Whoa, Landry. No one can lay a finger on Devin Hester. What a sick series of moves. And Devin Hester is definitely on fire as he scores the touchdown. And we go to play number one. It's once again Devin Hester from his own end zone and stays in his own end zone. Devin doesn't really want to return this ball. But while he stays in his own end zone, he gives this play a chance to somehow, some way, open up as Falcon after Falcon whips, and Hester suddenly is gone! Devin Hester, you are ridiculous! What a fantastic way to cap off Madden 20 top 10 plays of the week with some Devin Hester action on a couple of kick returns. This one was just amazing stick work and Hester being so elusive. The last one? I don't really know what that was. That was just insane. So, yeah. Um, as we watch Devin Hester making these moves, I just, you know, before we hop into the squad portion, I just, I really do not know what to make of this play, except we might be seeing it again on top 10 plays of the year. We'll have to see. But for now, let's go check out that squad's action. Team play one more time for top 10 plays of the week. I think we're going to keep this format of doing top 10 plays and then team play top 10 plays right after as far as Madden 21 top 10 plays of the week. Let me know in the comment section how you guys have been feeling about this format the past couple of months. I know the Browns are feeling good about McAllister taking the fake punt pass for a touchdown and it is indeed a touchdown after that penalty will no doubt be declined as we go to play number nine the silent killer is apparently john ross for the dallas cowboys spinning away whoop in the open field and now it's time to turn on the afterburners john ross the 20 the 10 the 5 and the honey badger just standing and watching his teammate eventually score the touchdown as we move on to play number eight deep Dagger. Check out this connection between Lamar Jackson and Randy Moss to win the game downfield. This is what? <gasps> oh! 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 Everything needed to be perfect on that play. The scramble, the throw, the run after, the speed of both players. It was perfect. It was a game winner. That's not a perfect throw by any means. Trying to take advantage of Randy Moss's X Factor. Instead, prime time shuts the play down. Whoop! And you know what time it is. Prime time. Dion all the way for the touchdown one more time in Madden 20. As we go to play number six, you thought you saw the last of Devin Hester? Here's at least one more Hester play as Hester on the kick return to start the third quarter, spinning round and round, and Hurricane Hester has officially hit Minnesota. Devin is gone after that. Absolutely crazy block. Wow. That was just a depleting block from his teammate. As we go to our only honorable mention of the squad's top 10 play countdown here. Here comes Big Vita Veya on the triple option. Veya's going to get the ball. Veya in a foot race and now in a bully battle. And the big defensive tackle will go 96 yards. Give it up for Vita Veya at running back. Now this is a more traditional running back, Christian McCaffrey, doing more traditional running back things on top 10 plays. Christian McCaffrey, three spin moves, count him three, and now beating Darius Leonard all the way to score the game winning, or actually just a touchdown, I believe, in Superstar KO. As we're going to play number four, this is not going to be a touchdown. This is going to be an interception, but eventually it works out. I don't want to talk I about it. I can't run. I don't want to talk about it. No, I, I can't even run, run to him. Go to the house! Go to the house! Go! 
wow, Jarvis Landry looked juiced as he laid out Chris Harris, the force, the fumble, as we move on to play number three. Oh my goodness, the whoop power and finesse of the Nigerian nightmare, Christian Okoye. They squib kicked the ball to keep it away from the primary returner, but the primary returner was Okoye on that play. As we're going to play number two, Steelers down late fourth quarter, and yeah, this might be wider down. Lack of communication, but this is their chance to get back in the game because Barry's got the football and Barry's got the moves. He's got the speed. Metcalf trying, but not going to get him. Barry Sanders will go all the way, and the Steelers suddenly have life as we go to the final number one play of Madden 20. D DJ Khaled at quarterback, and he's looking to win the game right here, right now, downfield, but the Honey Badger is there to deflect the ball to himself for the interception, shakes off the would-be tackler, and now Tyron Matthew has his eye on the big prize, the Honey Badger will go all the way after one of the best interceptions you will see all year long, how about Tyron tipping the ball to himself. I don't think I've ever seen that animation in Madden 20. And what a great time it was for that. So that's going to do it for the video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the final Madden 20 top 10 plays of the week countdown. Subscribe for more eventually Madden 21 top 10 plays of the week. And stay tuned for eventually top 10 plays of the year and top 100 plays of the year and all that good stuff. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you as always for watching.